This is RadioOnFire.com, where social networks meet talk radio. I am your host, Pebbles. Thank you for logging on and tuning in. Radio on Fire is your home for the hottest news, entertainment, and sports. This is Sports Talk with Pebbles, giving you sports news and opinion from a woman's perspective. New episodes of the show drop every Tuesday at RadioOnFire.com. Now today, I'm going to be talking about Nen Bias. Now some of you may not know who he is, so let me familiarize you with who he is. Len Bias, he was, you know, one of the greatest players in Maryland basketball history. Now, it was announced on um, Monday, July 14th, that Len Bias would be inducted into the school's Hall of Fame. He's a two-time ACC Player of the Year. And um, according to the Baltimore Sun, the Hall of Fame bylaws deny anyone who brought any embarrassment or, you know, to the school, period. You cannot, if whatever you may have done on your personal time or whatever, if it brought the school any embarrassment, then you wouldn't be allowed on the Hall of Fame, basically. Now, this is a sensitive issue for a lot of people. Um, A lot of changes were made to the university back in the day because of this particular situation. And once once um, it was discussed, the votes came in and they decided to move forward and honor one of the greatest student athletes ever. Bias will be inducted in October along with another football player and a former football and track and field star now it's about four of them being four or five of them being inducted um, I won't say all the names because then I'll have to tell you guys who they are but uh, basically um, Lynn Bias was drafted to the Celtics and I guess he went out to celebrate and while he was celebrating He um, took an overdose on some um, cocaine. And um, that was two days after being drafted. And in some people's eyes, that would seem to be, you know, it brought the school some type of embarrassment. And the school didn't want to be, you know, affiliated with something like that. And people, you know, they, they spoke negatively about it. Um, now this has been this has been a long time coming because um, people were saying that he should have been in there. Um, he was a great player, so for this to happen, I'm sure um, his mom will um, his mom will accept the award on his behalf. His mom, who also became um, a motivational speaker after this, so. I'm sure it really touched his mother with all that was, you know, with all that was going on. And personally, I think they need to focus on what he did on the basketball court and not what happened in his personal life during that time. And apparently, or I'm not going to say apparently, in my opinion, I'm thinking maybe he went out with some friends and... You know, maybe some people who weren't his friends and he went out and they thought he was just having fun. And what he didn't know was that something like that was going to happen. Now, I didn't know too much about him. I had to find out myself. Um, I remember the name. And, you know, I had to look into it myself. And after reading up on the story and everything, I don't see why he shouldn't be honored for what he did on the court. So, congratulations to the family of Len Bias. He's finally going into Maryland's Athletes Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Now, moving on to, to Michael Sam. 
Apparently, Michael Sam was given an ESPY award. Now, some do not agree with the ESPY award being given to him. Now, I personally, well, no, let me, let me give you a little, a little bit about it, about Michael Sam. Michael Sam made history by becoming the first openly gay player to be drafted into the NFL. Since then, the St. Louis Rams rookie has tried to keep a low profile, shifting the focus from his announcement to his play on the field. He had a scheduled reality show that was nixed after he got drafted again. Seemingly to keep the, fo- the focus, you know, on football, you know, as opposed to this reality show. But just recently on Wednesday, July 16th, you know, Sam delivered a moving speech at the SB. Now, this was after he was given the Arthur Ashe Award for carriage. He detailed his... Um, tribulations and also shared a moving story about how he consoled a friend's sister that thought about killing herself rather than sharing with loved ones that she was gay according to him now I do know of stories where people who were not sure about coming out or you know saying hey yeah I'm gay who would proudly just come out and say that and welcome both negativity and positivity after coming out. Um, In this situation, like I said, I do know people who felt like their family disowned them. Um, I don't know anyone who's thought of committing committing suicide. I have heard some through, you know, the news, the media. And um, I think that is very well possible. Now, does that make him worthy of the Arthur Ashe Award for carriage? Are we saying that he had the courage to come out and say, yes, I'm gay, and he welcomed all of that? Would that, would that make him qualified? Now, personally, I don't believe so. Now, this is Pebble's opinion. I don't think so at all. But... I don't make the decision over there. <laughs> so whomever makes the decision feels as though he's worthy to, you know, to receive the Arthur Ashe Award. I would love to know what you guys think. And um, of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Tweets by Pebbles. I am also on Instagram at Pebbles underscore page. Um, I may post about this. I'll make another one. I would love for you guys to share your thoughts. I would like to know which stands you take on it. Do you agree? Do you disagree? But um, I have no problem in saying that I definitely disagree with him getting this particular award. He just came out of the closet. You know, I don't think it's a big thing. Um... So, from football, I'm going to move on to basketball. Now, (laughs) we all know LeBron James is back at home. He's with his Clevelands. Oh, goodness. Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. So, um, apparently, the Cavaliers are now offering up number one pick, Andrew Wiggins, in an attempt to trade for Minnesota Timberwolves all-star forward, Kevin Love. Sources have confirmed this. And um, of course, when something happens, people take to Twitter. Okay? Now, (laughs) Wiggins took to Twitter as well. But um, the availability of Wiggins could lead to a blockbuster trade that could shift the balance of power in the Eastern Conference and the league as a whole. So... This whole this whole move for LeBron, you know, the NBA is shifting 
every day. Every day someone's going here, someone's going there. But um, the two clubs have been engaging in trade discussions since LeBron James decided, you know, well, he announced, I'm going to say, he announced that he will return to Cleveland. Now, the Cavaliers' refusal to include the 19-year-old Wiggins in any trade, uh, sources said the Timberwolves were unwilling to send love to the Cavaliers without receiving the former star Kansas guard in return. So, hmm, let's see how this goes. Now, apparently, Wiggins removed any pictures. Uh, <laughs> I just don't get it. People take to social media the moment that they get mad. Something doesn't go their way. They straight go to social media. People need publicists. People need, oh my, listen. People stop taking to social media when you're mad. Because once you put it out, it's out. You can't snatch it back. Even if you delete your tweet or your post, someone has already saw it. They may have screenshot it. And now it's gone viral. So, hey. LeBron James has reached out to Kevin Love. It was already apparent that Kevin Love had no problem saying, you know, I'm going to become a free agent. I would love to play alongside LeBron James. So, hey, he'll be going there. Not sure how, but I know in order for them to be able to, you know, they have to free up some salary over there for Mr. Love. So, let's see. I think eventually he'll be there. And once again, you can let me know how you feel about this as well. Now, that does it for Sports Talk with Pebbles today. Now, thank you for listening to Sports Talk with Pebbles. Remember, you can get Radio on Fire on demand anytime and anywhere. Just log on to RadioOnFire.com and download the Stitcher app for iOS, Android, Nook, iPad, and in over 4 million car dashboards. Radio on Fire also broadcasts on iTunes, YouTube, and other digital outlets. So please take a moment to give us a 5-star rating or review. It really helps out our rankings. Connect with me on social media via Twitter and Instagram. Twitter, I am Tweets by Pebbles. And on Instagram, I am Pebbles underscore page. This has been Sports Talk with Pebbles, and I am signing out. Radio on Fire, where social networks meet talk radio. Until next time, peace.